Thanks for choosing to start the day with us. Family Life Mornings. 20-year-old Grace and her husband went to the hospital because she was in so much pain, and they just oh, want to find yeah. out what's going on. And uh, Grace had thought... This, you know, I've never had kidney stones, she said, but it just feels like that would feel like that. Mm-hmm. And uh, so the doctor came back and said, no, nope, it's not kidney stones. Oh, boy. Uh, no, you're pregnant. Wait, what? That's what she said. Wait, what? No symptoms Wait, of pregnancy? Wait, those are her exact words? Well, I'm not sure. I wasn't there. <laughs> but so, and so she goes in thinking she has kidney stones. She comes home right. with a baby. And I think the number one comment. Wait, wait, least, wait. Not only was she pregnant, but she was having a baby? Exactly. People say, what do you mean you didn't know you were pregnant, right? I mean, that's know? the number one thing. I mean, how did you not know? But I can kind of side with Grace. I've never had kidney stones, uh-huh. so I don't know what they feel like. I've also never been pregnant, so <laughs> I, I don't know what that feels like. Okay. So, I mean, I can see exactly where she was right. coming from, right? Okay. Positive attitudes, check. Uplifting music, check. Friendly company, Chess. It's Family Life Mornings with Steve, Therese, and Randy. We'll talk about mom goals. This mom is like going viral on the internet, and I'm in awe of her meal planning skills. Now, I've, I've done a couple of those like crock pot meals, like where you throw all the stuff into a mm-hmm. Ziploc bag right. and you put it in the freezer, and then, you know, sometime in the future, you just pull out the bag, you dump it all in the crock pot, and boom, you got dinner, right? And, you know, I try to like buy stuff when it's on sale and like freeze it. But this mom went and bought a ton of onions and carrots and potatoes and zucchini and broccoli and cauliflower. Mm. And she chopped and she sliced and she diced and she probably even julienned. Uh, She filled her entire freezer with vegetables. She says, for a whole year now, I have all the produce that I need, you know, to roast or to broil or to bake or to throw in the crock pot or whatever. And I'm like, wow, that's that some mom skills, right? Yeah. Meanwhile, the kids are like, a whole year of vegetables. Oh. That's great. Yeah. Way to go, mom. <laughs> nice job. They're here to wake you up, pick you up, and lift you up. Steve, Teresa, and Randy on Family Life. A friend you can turn to. Starting out the morning with a shocking piece of news. I am not an expert on Swiss history. I do not know much about the Swiss. I don't even like Swiss cheese. What about Swiss Miss? Well, okay, I'm okay with that. But I don't know much about their history. I did not realize Uh the Swiss people are, they have such a great sense of humor. They are so funny. Really? They're funny? Here's the backstory. Uh, Uh Since World War I, between World War I and World War II, in preparation for potential shortages, they have been storing an emergency stockpile of coffee. And now here comes the really fun. This is why I know they have a sense of humor. They have now uh-huh. come out with a statement, the government, that says coffee is not essential to life. <laughs> Oh, those guys are so funny. That's hysterical. I think not a this, joke. The, wait, what? <laughs> we know you have lots of choices. Thank you for picking Family Life Mornings. So do you have a good side? You know, like when you take a picture, it's like, oh, you got to get my good side. Never thought about that. No, never. Right, had, and some people are really like, you know, I know, especially some people with the, are, yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's cameras everywhere mm-hmm. now. And it's like, right. oh, no, no, this side. So if you have a picture coming up, you know, maybe like your work ID or a family photo or even just, you know, Easter Sunday people to get together. You sure. want to look you want to look as good as possible. So um, it involves the tilting of the head. OK, so, Steve, okay. Um, if you and there's a lot that, you know, you portray just by the way you do it. So if you tilt your head to the right uh-huh. and you go slightly up, uh-huh. you look more attractive. Well, but yes. If you tilt your head to the left, left. you look more intelligent. Well, what? if you look, if you Wait look down, if you tilt uh, your head down, 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 just a little. It looks like you don't want to be in the picture. <laughs> this is family life. A friend you can turn to. If you're a fan, uh, as you travel, those little shampoo and conditioner bottles you get in your hotel bathrooms, they could uh-huh. be a thing of the past if lawmakers have their way. There's, it's, it's an effort to reduce waste because uh, they said, you know, you don't always use the whole thing, throw them in the trash, and just a lot of waste. So they're trying right. to make them a, uh, go by the wayside. And you may mm. have, if you've traveled, maybe seen some of those dispensers they now have in the yep. showers. And so, but if you're not a fan of those, do what I do. I just bring my own uh, shampoo because uh-huh. right. you may wonder why I do that. I mean, look at these. Look at these lovely locks. I don't trust just any shampoo. Right. To get a look like this. 
Yeah, it takes us something special to look like that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Strong like a cup of dark coffee. Okay, guys, you can stop flexing your muscles now. This is Family Life Mornings. Well, I'll go to the grocery store. I have a list right here. Yes. I'm going to go to the grocery store. No. <laughs> you got your list? Got I'm so list. glad. Yes. All right. Now, when you get to the store, uh-huh. grab a cart. Right. You want to make sure you have sure. a cart. Right. And then you want to grab one of those baskets. No, not both. Well, you know, you've got to decide how much we're going to buy. So here's what you do. You put the basket inside the cart because you know Uh, how you've got your list, right? Right. right. All right. If you buy anything, you pick up something that's not on the list, put it in the basket. Those are your impulse purchases. And the stuff that's on your list, you put in the cart, right? Now, when you get to the checkout, you've got this basket overflowing with stuff that you did not plan to buy. Right. You can look at that basket and be like, well, do I want to spend an extra $50 today at the grocery store? Do I really need this stuff? Should I have put it on the list? Can it wait another week? Do you think I could get it someplace cheaper? You just kind of look at all that stuff and ask all those questions, and then you can decide. Hmm. Do I want to buy all this stuff? Or do I want to shamefully hand this basket to the cashier and say, this is for (laughs) reshops? It's like, how many how many more candy bars can I fit in here? <laughs> oh, that's an impulse buy. You know we're friends because we're already on a first name basis. It's Family Life Mornings with Steve, Therese, and Randy from Family Life, a friend you can turn to. You know, Easter's one of those days where you might get together with family you haven't mm-hmm. seen in a while, maybe even some older family members. And sometimes as people get older, their hearing isn't as good. Sure. So they might say, I, I can't hear you. Mm-hmm. Don't talk louder, which Why? I know doesn't make sense. It's like if somebody can't hear you, right, yeah, talk, a talk yeah. louder, exactly. right? Right. But as we age, the type of hearing loss we normally get is the upper range, so higher voices uh, versus lower voices. And no matter how loud you talk, if a person can't hear the tone of your voice, right. they're not going to be able to hear it, even if it's louder. So instead of talking louder, talk a little bit lower. When you lower your voice down, your voice is in the range of what people might be able to hear. And then you're not yelling at dinner, too, which is a nice plus. So we should bring, if if I'm hearing you correctly here, we should, if we can, bring our afternoon guy, Sonny Delphiet, with us wherever we go. Yes, we should. Just listen to Sonny. Listen to Sonny. Everybody can hear Sonny. Exactly. (laughs) It's a new day. A fresh start. You're waking up with Family Life Mornings. In Matthew 27, 22, we read as Pilate asks, what should I do with Jesus? And he's kind of, you know, asking the crowd, what what should I do? Because he knows there's two choices. He can either condemn Jesus Mm -hmm. or he can set him free. But here's the thing. You're kind of like Pilate because you have two choices. You can either accept Jesus or you can reject him. So, The real question today, what should you do with Jesus? Family Life Mornings with Steve, Therese, and Randy. Thanks for making us part of your day. We're a friend you can turn to.